Hey everybody, welcome to Stumped. You're joined by Jazz and Anna today. Your boys. Your boys. And we're playing a game called Road Warden. Yeah. So it's a text-based narrative adventure. And as a writer, I heckin' love narrative games. Mm -hmm. Huge thanks to Assembly Entertainment for sponsoring this video. Jazz, how excited are you to play a text-based adventure like the olden days? Do you remember those back back a long time ago? Back in the, the long before, before we even had point and click adventures. Before? In the before times. The old Mac PC times, like the Oregon Trail. I remember times. playing them. They're very hard. Yeah, they are. So I'm excited for this game. Yeah. Apparently, this game was made by one person. That's amazing. Which is great. Yeah. But let's let's dive right into it. I want to play. I'm excited for, for text and words. So it's supposed to be like fully illustrated, uh, like mm -hmm. a choose your own adventure, right? Yeah. And it has like roguelike sort of scenarios so we'll never see everything at once yeah so it's like a choose your own adventure so mm -hmm. if you like you flip to page three you're not going to be able to go back and flip to page five unless your save's coming or you put the little dog the dog ear who does your... that these days i don't know Mom's i mean i think we did it with goosebumps back no in the we, day. we we held, i held it you <laughs> jazz jazz always holds the goosebumps adventure books you hold it all right jazz we marvel at the serenity of the forest and crave the shroud of his silence do we enter? Yes. Oh. Oh. Let's just check out settings real quick. We're on full screen. Um, describe attitudes. Oh, that's great accessibility. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We can show our tutorials, quotes show. Oh, it's even got deaf support. That's, that's nice. great. I love that. Uh, narration speed probably fast. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Ooh, I wonder if this was made in RenPy. This is very RenPy-ish. I like it. Okay. Uh, new game. Everyone knows to stay away from the wilderness. Most people would never risk a lonely journey. Road wardens not only accept this struggle, they embrace it. They deliver messages, assist merchants, burn, burn, okay, burn, burn, burn human corpses, and if possible, get rid of the beasts and the highwaymen. They live on the road, die young, and re retire early. Sounds like a hard life. Or retire early. Oh, or retire early. <laughs> they die young and retire early. Same thing. <laughs> it's a dangerous job, but a respectable one. And it pays well. Okay, do we want to leave the safety of the city walls? Let's leave. I still have my doubts, though. I don't want to die young. But we could possibly retire early if we do a good job. Okay. Also, we got to burn human corpses, which seems badass. So let's go. <clears throat> I really hope... Uh, so a lot of times in text games, if you choose to not do it, you just automatically get like... A dead end or like mm -hmm. the bad ending i really hope that that happens okay so we have a difficulty mode which is great we love accessibility so here casual is so choice can story. be altered later on no time limit more cash at the start some quests are more forgiving 40 day time limit oh that's interesting regular rule set for those who are familiar with rpgs and restrictive 30 days increased nighttime damage I th I'd say we just go for standard yeah let's see, let's see we're what familiar the, with rpgs let's see what the 40 day limit is about yeah I say this and we're going to die in a second. The wall is standing. There are no wolves around. No stench of blood. Good signs. This should be the place you're looking for. You are supposed to meet with a group of soldiers, but you hear no voices, no sounds of labor. The gate is ajar, but the camp isn't safe. It may keep away the goblins and pebble pebblers, uh, but not beast folk nor trolls. And the night is near. Your paltry breathes. Oh, your palfrey? What's a palfrey? Mm. Look it up. What's a palfrey? <laughs> whenever, listen, whenever I don't know a word, I always like to look it up. As a writer. <laughs> a docile horse, uh... Okay, well, our docile horse breathes heavily. It had a long day. Uh, I could just look for another shelter. I need to look around. Hmm. I dismount and sneak to the gate. Let's peek inside. Palfrey I get horse? off the horse and enter the camp briskly. Seth palfrey horses are usually used by women. Oh. Interesting. I hope we're a badass lady. That'd be right? awesome. Um, well, we don't want to go in because there could be issues. There could be trolls. We could look around cautiously. I feel like... Or we could just sneak. So here's the other cool thing about it. So based on the decisions that we make in the game, that will also sort of affect what we can do. Like there are different roles that we can be. We can be a scholar, a warrior or a mage or a mage so 
I'm like, what kind of what kind of road warden do we want to be, Jazz? Do we want to be like cautious? Well, I want to be the one that survives. So cautious. I think cautious. You don't want a road warden goes in. Well, I mean, we could also rogue it in and sneak. Yeah. So do you want? To, we'll sneak to the gate. Yeah. Okay. Dismount and sneak to the gate. Your heavy boot hits the ground, and the pain of the long ride finally catches up with you. You stretch out, bringing your backs and legs comfort. All you want now is a table, a decent chair, a nice mug of beer or wine, and some warm stew. With any luck, your axe won't be needed here. Okay. You oh, wait, wait, wait. Upgrades. Take care of yourself. If you're hurt or exhausted, some actions won't be available to you. The weaker you are, the higher the chance you'll die in combat. Whoa, okay. I want to click on this. Oh, okay. That's just... So that's... This? That's a... Uh, 30 minutes We have 30 dusk. minutes before dusk. We, we have three well. out of four vitality. Okay. Okay, I guess we approach the gate. Gosh, this makes me... <laughs> <laughs> want to put, read more choose your own adventure books right if it's a military camp it doesn't look the part plenty of wasted space the fire pit is cold two people oh we can highlight two people Ooh, no i think it's just two people are sitting at the table tired and disheartened they're looking in different directions paying no attention to one another one of them is holding a cup after a moment you notice the quiet humming you recognize the melody of a light-hearted drinking song <gasps> from the city harbor oh is this sea shanty Maybe. Um, they don't look like a threat, I don't think. Yeah, for now. Or we could look around cautiously. Maybe there's another person We could just, behind. like, GTFO and get out of here. We could. We could also look around cautiously, too. Okay, look, Maybe so we've got, we've got a tent, we've got a couple barrels. So those two people are just sitting there. They're there just sitting place. here. Yeah. It's not, not talking with each other? This is... What if they just broke up, Jazz? Oh. This is an awkward conversation. I think... Do you want to do... You You make the choices. Well, I, I mean, there's two of them, right? So they don't look too much like a threat. Okay, then we'll enter. Yeah. It takes them a few breaths to glance in your direction. The first person greets you with a wave of his hand. There are bags under his eyes. His beard is messy. Despite his simple shirt, he's wearing durable, decent boots. He stole them. It's true. A mace with a head covered in iron hangs at his side, but he doesn't reach for it. Do take I a take a look at the second soul? Just like you, she's wearing... They aren't talking to each other. They totally just broke up. Yeah. She's wearing a gameson, uh, but hers is a bit loose, as if she took it off a corpse. Oh. I told you, they stole it! Her head is shaven, and she's as if she's protecting herself from flesh-eating bugs. Wow. Her eyes are wary yet kind. She smiles. Considering the squad was sent here half a year ago, these two surely looked apart. Though there should be more of them. Eight, you believe. Oh, we're meeting people. Uh, let them speak first. Okay. It's nice. Oh, who do you want to be? Oh, it's nice to see an unharmed traveler in this godforsaken shithole. Makes me just a tiny bit hopeful. The bearded man's voice is strong yet timid. You'll be staying the night with us, I guess. We're soldiers, he and I, adds the armored woman. Her moment, uh, her moment switches from half asleep to relaxed. We'll do our best to keep the camp safe. But if you were to take the first watch, it would be a huge help. Travelers ought to help each other, wouldn't you say? You think for a moment to fully rest. You need a good sleep. Well, we got here. Ex well, I mean, we have three out of four, but we are exhausted. Here's the thing: if we go to bed, mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna murder us, and probably steal our shit. Yeah, I don't trust it. Okay, well, we'll take the first watch. Yeah, yeah, because that way we're sort of in charge, mm -hmm. and hopefully we don't get ambushed. Also, it sounds like there's supposed to be like five more people coming here, or they're all dead. Yeah. And maybe that that's why like they look like some of their stuff is new and some of their stuff is mm -hmm. old is because like all of them are dead and they mm -hmm. took their 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 stuff. Their stuff. Yeah. Fantastic. She rubs her hands together. I don't remember the last time I had more than half of sleep. The hours before midnight should be the calmest. Just wake us up if anything happens. The man flashes you a wide smile. It's easy to wake us up. Just yell. He drinks from his mug. Uh, I guess we'll ask them about the lieutenant. You wonder, wonder how to phrase ooh. your Oh, this is cool. So friendly, playful, distant, oh. intimidating, vulnerable. Be sad, tired, afraid, or hopeless. Listen, game, don't call me out. Influence how they perceive you by selecting one of the attitudes. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. I maybe we don't trust them so i don't know i don't know if i want to be distant but like if we like are playful maybe they'll relax around us yeah yeah it's i'm fine playful. with playful yeah i'm sure you're busy so if you could just introduce me to your lieutenant 
That's playful? I guess. Sure. The armored soldier spares you a polite smile. Next time, better schedule a meeting. This place gets really crowded these days. Oh, it's a oh. she, yeah. <laughs> she stands up. She pays little attention to the sword at her side. Oh, I figured it, you aren't here on a walk. Uh, let's say you need a, to speak with. Are you a messenger? Did you lose your mount? Are you looking for help? Oh, I'm your new road warden. My horse is waiting outside. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get eaten. Really? The soldier in the shirt learns forward. That explains how you got here in one piece. All by yourself. Better bring your beast here, adds the lieutenant. We have no hay, but I bet it dreams of dropping its saddle. Long pause. I'm Tulia, by the way. Oh, sorry. No, that's <laughs> fine. She just had her hand, and you shake hers, and I'm... It may be a trap. No, no, I think that's yeah. fair. How do you Ooh. want... Ooh. Okay, what do we want to be called, Jazz? Let's do this character creation. Okay, so who who are we? Which road one are we? Well, we're playful. Mm -hmm. So we need a playful name. Okay. Um, and we're cautious. We like to sneak, so we're like a rogue. Okay. Hmm. I mean, just Anna always just works. Anna. Just Anna. Just Anna is playful and cautious. <laughs> That's both of our names combined. Yes. Her grasp is confident. The shake is slight. Just keep your horse away from the tents. She steps away. We don't need to smell like dung. Uh, ah. There's this one issue. The soldier in the shirt also rises oh, to his feet. We've no tent to spare. You'll have to use a blanket or something. Um, I enjoy observe. Listen, we're playful. Yeah. This seems playful. Yeah. I enjoy observing the stars. You walk through the gate. Your mount looks around and snorts anxiously. Not many humans could ride a horse. It's only taller. It's not only taller than you, but it's also bulky, as heavy as it is strong. You can't get in the saddle within a single breath, but most people wouldn't know where to even begin. From every side, it's a wall of flesh. It's a big horse. Horses were brought to the Dragonwoods from the con uh, from the conquests in the south. They can trot for a long time, but it, out it won't outrun some of the local monsters. Your palfrey needs you to survive, but without it, you would be lost. Oh, it's uh... my only companion here. No, we want to we want to make sure it's at ease. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want it's. It's our only companion, right? We're gonna be with it for a long time. What are we gonna name our horse? Oh, I don't know. Ash, 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 Ash. It takes a few steps toward you, scolding you with another snort. You scratch the bottom of its neck with strength and confidence, just the way it likes it. Humans see useful animals and even pets as monsters in disguise. Getting emotionally attached to them is believed to lead humans to their doom. But you know that horses need companionship. Aww. I speak to it gently and lead it to the camp. Let's go. You end up next to the fire pit. Removing the saddle makes the horse snicker with relief. You take a couple of minutes to examine its back, just in case. While the riding equipment is not heavy for such a strong animal, with enough time, it starts to chafe. You should have had something better than this shabby... Oh, wait, better to eat than this shabby grass. You should look it for an inn. I need to unpack. Okay. You haven't brought many things. And you lost one of the sacks while fleeing the Crimson Corpse Eaters. Whoa. Wait, wait, can we go back to Crimson Corpse Eaters? I would like to click on this and find out more. Right. Worst of all, you have no rope lift. But maybe the soldiers should share one. Shouldn't cost more than a dragon bone. What? Shouldn't cost more okay, than a dragon bone. Okay. Aside from the travel set, you own a few valuable possessions essential okay. for your trade. Oh, so, here we go. So here's sort of like part of the character customization. Yeah. So let's see, a fighter, uh, you got combat equipment, you got a fine gamison, an axe made of steel, and a reliable crossbow. For a mage, you have a talisman that helps you use your powers, as well as an iron axe and worn gamison. Scholar has a writing instrument and alchemical ingredients, as well as an iron axe, worn gamison, and a healing potion. Oh. Ooh, we can learn more. Shall we learn more? Yeah. As a fighter, you'll have easier time in the physical challenges thanks to your superior mm -hmm. equipment and hidden bonuses during dice rolls. You'll be physically more capable than other classes while opens Ooh. unique opportunities during social interactions in its best class for RPG beginners. The okay. weakness of the fighter is their reliance on physical strength. Your, phys your special abilities won't be able available to you if your vitality drops to zero. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The mage uses Numa, a versatile but limited pool of energy points that can be spent to cast a few humble spells. Magic won't protect you better than a sharp axe, but as a mage, you'll be able to heal faster while resting. Mm. Detect magic in mysterious ways, distract a beast with a simple trick, and find a common tongue with other magic users. Using mage's powers too freely will result in having no Numa left when you need it the most. Okay, okay. 
The scholar will know more about the world's mysteries than you, helping you take advantage of some unusual situations. Your characters will be impressed the locals with this knowledge, and you'll be able to read the sparse written clues without anyone's assistance. Scholar struggles with combat more than any other classes, but with enough carefulness and exploration, you'll gain um, access to alchemical mixtures, which will help you escape from any dangerous situation. Ooh. You know I hate fighting. Yeah, I think maybe... <sighs> As much as it, Scholar sounds really fun, I think maybe a mage might be useful in this situation. See, I want to play as a Scholar. I mean, we can. I think we just need to be more prepared and careful if we go into any fight. Listen, I'm a writer. As a writer. I'm a writer and I only play bards. I feel like the Scholar okay. is perfect. Let's do it. You unpack and inspe inspect your belongings. Your water skin isn't pierced. The spare clothes are still here, just in case you take a look at your wooden bowl and mug. Your cape. We got a cape, Jazz. We got a cape. Tinderbox, bandages, food rations, knife. Nothing special or too cumbersome. From time to time, your routine helps you avoid mistakes, but this doesn't make it any more exciting. So we can actually hit our inventory? Yeah. Oh, cool. Look at this. We got food rations. Got a potion. A pouch with coins. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's our Gameson. Mm -hmm. Alchemal ingredients. Travel set. Ooh, can we click on that? Oh. Cool. That's cool. What's in here? Writing instruments? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's let's write a letter. Dear, oh, we have a journal. Whoa, whoa, oh, journal. Oh, okay. So it's just our quest logs. Oh, groups and places, bestiary. Whoa. Oh, there is a glossary. That's cool. So if you wanted to learn more about, what were those? Mm -hmm. The corpse peoples? Yeah, um, corpse eaters. Corpse eaters. I guess Crimson this would be in the crap. bestiary, right? Corpse eaters. So we wanted to know more about the corpse eaters, so we can come over here. <clears throat> the hairless, scaleless creatures. Okay, resemble uh, constantly stooped apes, but their limbs and torsos are extremely thin, as if there barely any muscles on them. While Ooh, they're nimble, scary. their limited strength turned them into scavengers. They rarely move in packs. Right's followers preach the corpse eaters shouldn't be purged. Oh, should be purged. Yeah, they sound like they should. Yeah. Um, a famous tale. Da, da, da. Cool. That's really cool. So if you want more information, you can keep your quests mm -hmm. here, all the places you've been to, and then archive. Oh, it's just oh, everything that we've just done. Yeah, I love when games do this. So if you miss something, you mm -hmm. click too fast, you can just go back to your archive. It's just, you know what? This is Run Pie. We're going to save it. <laughs> this is a very, as as a also a developer that has made games in RunPy, this is very impressive mm -hmm. for what you can do with RunPy. Uh, you impact and inspect your Oh yeah, we return. They're at a table again, observing your beast and chattering between themselves. Your stomach growls at the sight of them, eating out of wooden bowls. One more bowl was put at a previously unmused end of the table. You can sit down on a tree log. Do we join them and look at the meal? I thank them for the meal, but I didn't want uh, to eat with them. I sit down and ask Tulia what she can tell me about this area. I completely ignore the meal, and I sit down and speak to Tulia. I feel like we should join them. We're playful. Yeah. We're a scholar. We got to learn these things. We got to use our wit. I'm just hoping it wasn't poisoned. Okay, we got our... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 15 minutes before dusk. Yeah, Listen, I feel them. like if they were going to maybe kill us, it would have been... They probably would have done they it They probably would have done it, because they already outnumber us two to one. It's cold gruel, a meal eaten in times of hardship. The specific bowl is filled with water, hog millet, some strange looking cereals, and blueberries. Mm. Welcoming you with a meal, even a humble one, is beyond their duty. Soldiers live with and for their companions, constantly on the move from one part of the realm to another, making sacrifice to protect their, their group as they face dozens of hideous creatures. Their lives are filled with discipline, hardship, and camaraderie. Road wardens, on the other hand, learn how to work uh, by themselves. Lone wolves. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, we are. Yes. Except for our horse, Ash. They seldom engage in open combat, patrolling the same roads for years. They help the settlement stay in touch, but also maintain commerce, settle down, forge cool. friendships. Uh, when there are no laws to follow, they use their own judgment. Different, different responsibilities, responsibilities, different lifestyles. I eat quickly, not focusing on the taste, then speak with Tulia. Oh, what's this one? That's nourishment. nourishment. Okay, okay, so we have a nourishment one, too. She's focused and chooses her words carefully. She looks away only when she gathers her thoughts. I'm afraid I can tell you less than what I would like to, and less than I should. She nods toward the, uh, towards the other soldier. As you can see, there's not a lot of us left. 
At the beginning of summer, there were eight of us, including our previous lieutenant. Five are dead. One has run away in tears. We're also strangers in this land, adds her companion. Any piece of information may help me do my job. The man leads forward. His leg shakes nervously. He sounds like a kid asking a bard to sing one more story. Tell a joke or do magic trick. Whatever it takes to escape from the boredom. His untrimmed beard hides a much younger face than you originally thought. What did the officials tell you? I expect not that much. No soul governs these lands. Who I share what I consider to be relevant. What I've discussed with the officials should stay between me and them. Hmm. I feel like as... As a scholar. As a writer. As a writer. We should share what's relevant because I feel like as a scholar, we also deal in secrets. Yeah. So our weapon of choice is, is secrets, probably, yeah. or information. You tell the soldiers how little guidance you've received. Since this area is too far away from Holoven to keep under control, you were warned that it's untamed and unknown. Who knows how many villages, bandits, or monsters may be found in these unmapped lands. From time to time, new people come here to look for boundless opportunities. Most of them never return. Do they turn into walking corpses or find what they're looking for? Not a soul could tell me, so I was looking for your guidance. Hmm. Ooh, these are a lot of options. Uh, the lieutenant drinks from her cup and crosses her legs, ankle on knee. Seeing her chair makes you doubt she'll ever find a comfortable position. Where should we start? Asked about the peninsula. Any ideas what previous have or woman? I lost my rope. Could you spare one? What happened to your squad? How'd you become the lieutenant? I'm guessing the previous lieutenant died. Yeah, because she, she just said yeah. that. What, oh, your squad's mission. Before I continue my journey, I need to ask them about the peninsula, the road warden, and the rope. So it seems like we don't have to ask her all of it, mm -hmm. but we at least have to get some information to, to continue the story. So I guess let's talk about the peninsula first. Okay. I'll tell you what I know, and you'll be the judge, says the lieutenant. How long did it take to get here from the city? On a decent palfrey? I guess it would be three, four days? When you, conf when you confirm, she continues. From here, you can reach the coast in about a day, as long as you don't make any stops. Do you know the situation? Why no ships can get here? You nod. The sea route allows Holovin officials to keep in touch with the coastal villages, collect taxes, move the soldiers, collect lumber, deliver tools, but maintaining order on the wild coast. Such as this one, it's like filing the, uh, filling the ocean depths with coins. Hmm. Because of the rocks, you can hardly stop a ship five miles from the shore, and boats can't get much closer. There's always a rocky coast. Mm -hmm. She nods. I don't know much about fishing, but there's not that many people living by the shore. And they don't crave to stay in touch with the city folk. As she pauses, her companion carries on. No soul from the north ever came to the camp. When we traveled in the roadside inn, Pelt of the North, they're happy to trade and play dice. Uh, why not just stay at one of the settlements? The man clears his throat. I mean, you know, we're to guard this road. This camp is our post. And well, he turns to Tulia. She lowers her voice. Don't take it the wrong way, Jacinta. <laughs> but are you a devout soul? Oh, shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So there's, like, religion in this game, too. Um, like, like, most city folk, I believe, they unite strength to overcome the threats of nature and dark magic. Everyone will be judged for their goods and evils. United Church. Okay. For many years, I supported Monastery and does its best to advance mankind's spiritual growth, artistry, herbalism, and magical research. Oh, the Order of Truth. Okay, so science. I'm a small village. For me, the freedom and sh of shell, Numa, and soul are the main virtues of life. My community is unique and independent. So as members, I have a place in my fellowship. I have a strong connection to nature and spirits and follow the path of ancestors. Some of the beliefs are maybe considered sinister and treacherous, but the city folk would call me a pagan. Okay. There's no evidence of right's existence and all mystical tales explained by magic. No, I'm not. So the right is, I think, the god. Yeah. I kind of like the order of truth. Okay, let's do as it. A, like as a as a as a scholar, as a scholar, we are here to do uh, to research. We are, and we know a lot about herbalism mm -hmm. and ma some magical research. So we'll order of truth. Yeah. Oh, I see. She has into Luke's way. I don't know much about that river of faith, but I'm sure we're not that different. I'm a unite myself. She says with sort of a pride in her voice. So she follows the United Church. Uh, mm hmm Or maybe just explain what you're thinking. Um, I'll just say, say mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, great. <laughs> Please don't preach to me. Uh, the people here are disquieting. Every few words, she taps the table with her finger. 
Their traditions won't help them negotiate with the officials here. She starts to draw lines with her index finger as if she's pointing at an invisible map. The peninsula is connected with the roads like a big circle in the northwest. You'll soon find a weird village at a bog. It's not exactly pagan. I don't think so. It even has a priest who claims to be an Amorite. You nod. She means the fellowship. Okay. Uh, they do crazy shit, her companion chips in. They use the dead to cut down trees and dig in soil. Once I saw it, I begged to never return there. Wait, corpses? Yeah. We gotta go find the corpses and burn them. I see. You've heard tales such as these since you were a child. In an isolated settlement, manages to survive without a city's influence. Its customs and traditions grow more and more alien. Every generation knows how to adapt to the dangerous conditions they have to deal with, and the rustic pagan traditions muddy their river of faith. Okay. The United Church often warns its members about the wild druids, necromancers, and blood mages, the bringers of doom, the traitors to mankind. Oh my goodness. I kind of feel like we made the wrong choice here. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Uh, well, I feel like this is very akin to, yeah, you know, the church of our world. Yeah. Uh, were you able to speak with these necromancers? How oh, about maybe these? any monsters? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that could catch my mount. We saw all sorts of beasts. The man starts to count his fingers. Goblins, treants, cats large. Cats? Wait, wait, wait. wait. You cats saw cats? Cats large and small. I want them. Runners, howlers, wolves, spiked boars. Mouflon eaters? Like, griffins? Is that what they're called? What? Griffons? No, mouflon. Mouflons. Mouflon eaters. I'm gonna call them flan eaters. Flan like eaters? Flan. I do like flan. But we managed to stay away. Some could catch up with most mounts, Tule glances at her companion. Though a palfrey should be fine. The trees are so tall that the flying creatures keep to the coast and mountains. There's not that many humans around, and the animals are busy fighting among themselves. They fight more for food than territory. <laughs> the soldier cracks his knuckles. Don't are broken, though, and ride fast. Just count on luck. Okay. Uh, okay. Should we say that's all yeah, we need to know? We, I think we should go to the next one. Okay. Um, could we ask for rope? Yeah. You're in luck. She heads toward one of the crates and moves aside a large linen sack, revealing a rope. She brings it back and nonchalantly sits down in her chair. Take it. I was planning to leave it behind. Okay. Take a closer look. We got rope. Whoa! It's made of hemp fibers. Bye. Um, okay, and the last one is what happened to the previous road warden. Okay, road warden. It's top one, that one. Tulia takes a deep breath. Aren't you a bit late for a rescue mission? We haven't heard from him for almost half a year. The soldier speaks uh, for a bit between themselves. Oh, the soldiers speak. Trying to get their story straight. They confirm that he had stopped by their camp a few times, but stopped showing up in early summer. The bearded soldier starts to scratch the table with the tip of his knife. Without looking at you, I don't remember his voice. Always busy, drowning in things to take care of. He would sit somewhere, sharpen his sword, fix his loud mail, clean clothes, write notes on the wax tablet of his. Yep, and leave it dawn. Unlike us, Asteria never gets bored. Tulia lets out a joyless chuckle. He's secretive, but some of the locals speak about him warmly. Maybe he just doesn't like us. Hmm. Sounds like you're not sure if he's dead or not. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were playful. I mean, <laughs> this guy's on the road. You don't know. That's true. Yeah. If anyone knows, they won't tell us. Maybe someone is keeping him in the basement. The man carves with passion. We haven't seen him or his Saurian. Something ate them, I bet. The officials have hired you, right? They don't expect him to return. Richer road wardens often use four-legged meal meat eating so they have dinosaurs oh my god as their mounts how do we get a dinosaur mount right please let us get a dinosaur mount in this they game have to be tamed and trained since the hat they're hatching but unlike horses they can easily defend themselves from many monsters at least your palfrey is fast and reliable you won't suddenly sink its teeth into an innocent passerby oh shoot so those are, those will actually probably kill people yeah but it's a dinosaur True. i'm willing to take that do you know what he was looking for? Maybe he left you a message. Neither one of us had any insight into his dealings, says Tulia. My predecessor left me no clue. We also took a look at Asterion's stuff. Wait, she raises her open palm. I almost forgot. She stands up and heads to a nearby tent. He has kids in a village near Holovin. I was planning to take all his things there. A pouch, a second spear, a decent bow, some potions. Quite a treasure, she glances at you. But I would much prefer to bring them to the truth. Uh, them to bring them to the truth. Bring them to the truth about their father. 
So you want me to find out what happened to him in exchange for his stuff? Here's the catch, she dusts off at the hilt of her sword. We've hired a messenger to ask the commanders for further orders. Since uh, she hasn't returned and you know nothing about her, she either ran away or something happened to her. She sighs with resignation. We are meant to stay here until fall. What do you think? Come see us, tell us what you've learned about the man and we'll go back to Holoven together? You think about your real mission. You were planning to return to Holoven in the early fall anyway. Okay. If he's alive, I don't think he's going to so be happy. So that's the time limit. We're supposed to figure out what happened and then yeah, bring you back. That's got to be the 40 yeah. days. And then, so we got to figure out what happened to the other mm -hmm. road warden. Yeah, and get back here. Uh, True, but he's considered dead. I doubt he'll spare you anything. And who knows? You may just find his shell lying on the roadside tomorrow. He wears a mail, uses a spear mostly, maybe five feet tall, but stout, long red beard, short hair, pale face, rarely smiles. She glances at her companion, but after he adds nothing, she sits down and stretches out her legs. So, find out what happened to him. Dead, alive, left? Just let me know. Okay. Great. I think we should boogie. Uh, I know everything I need. Are you sure? Are oh, you, are you sure? You may not be around the next time you come. Uh, we should prepare for night. Yeah. Oh, open the archive. Yep, we already went to the mm -hmm. archive. I agree, Tulia says with relief. And may you do better than Asterion did. Stay vigilant. She winks. Oh, oh romance. Shattering the mask of a soldier. Thank you for your help. You go to the barrel and splash water on your face. What makes you even more aware is of how much you need a bath. After the night, it will only get worse. Your horse is already napping, still too anxious to lay down. I prepare for my watch. So look at our time again. It's kind of different. It's, it's night time. Okay. okay. And we still have, oh, so we ate a meal. So we have three out of four nourishment. We still have three out of mm -hmm. four. And then this one is appearance. You don't stand out from a crowd. You won't get much cleaner without a proper bath. Oh, Ugh, okay. gross. Okay. Uh, the soldier in the shirt is eager to guide you. Just observe the area. There's plenty of griffins around, though you won't try to jump over the palisade. Probably. Better watch out for the apes. They climb up and carry out the food they can find. And there's this one, really loud were-elk. Okay. A were-elk? That keeps smelling the wall, though it never tried to get in. He points at the gate. The lieutenant and I will block the entrances. They're quite heavy. So if anyone comes here looking for shelter, better call us to help you out. And if something is, someone is being chased by wolves or anything, better throw them the rope instead. He okay. scratches his head. If it gets cold, feel free to make a fire. And the best place is on the watchtower. You may want to put a blanket there or something. The watchtower. <laughs> he gives you a long puzzled look. Oh, here. He points to the pile of crates. Just climb up to the tallest Great. Yeah. You'll have a great view at the northern side. They're more dangerous uh, side. Also, I know you're tired. After all that writing, he points to the tent on the other side of the camp. I can handle a couple hours sleeping on the ground if you wish. Go there after me and rest just this once. At least I have a pallet inside. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I like how it changes. Yeah. You put your blanket on the tallest crate and sit down. The night is warm. The sporadic summer breeze brings gentle refreshment. From time to time, your back aches. You force yourself to keep your eyes open. The light of the moon helps you focus on the tall grasses. For most of the time, you spot small critters and birds, but there are exceptions. At one point, a three, there are three horned deers trying to challenge one another. Mm. Before they clash their antlers, a two-legged dragonling appears, leading its much smaller offspring. The furry beasts try to intimidate their... Uh, predators with roars and aggressive head movements. After a few moments, both sides walk away slowly, not willing to risk the fight nor to admit their defeat. Okay. Okay. Keep looking. You hear the death screams, ooh, of a distant prey and the mating calls of monkeys. Okay, Whoa, okay. Okay. We've got the whole circle of life here. Right. Runners are chasing a gray hare. A group of musk oxen lazily chew the grass, preparing themselves to sleep. A dust fox is running together with a lynx. Play, making playful screeches. Thankfully, you never have to intervene. You just sit there, watching the not-so-distant forest, trying to outlast your sleepiness. You can only guess how much time has passed. Once you feel you've had enough, you climb down and go to a tent, waking the bearded man up with just a couple words. You confirm that nothing important has happened. Okay, we gather in and use the tent. Hell yeah, let's go. Sleeping in a tent is not the stuff of dreams, but it's much welcome rest. The pallet keeps the cold away, the moonlit saves uh, the moonlit saves the outside world from the eerie gloom. You listen to your own breath and find a comfortable position. Your job starts tomorrow. 
I focus on the real goal of my journey. Oh, so our real goal. Explore the peninsula. Let's do it. The Merchant Guild wants to take control of this realm. Your wardening duties are secondary. First and foremost, you need to explore the peninsula. Learn about the territory, resources, and threats. Get to know the locals. And if you can, convince them to consider negotiations with Holovan, officials and traders. Could the tribes resist the soldiers or be a threat to the priests of the United Church? There are... Are there any forbidden practices that need to be eradicated, such as blood magic, necromancy, robbery, or slavery? At least I have time. 40 days, to be exact. And I need to be as thorough as I can. Oh, wow. Once you finish your reconnaissance, you should speak with Tulia and return to Holovan. There you'll report back to your employers and get your reward. In the meantime, you have your own goal to pursue. Ooh, so we get to choose our goal. You gather extra coins so you can help a person I care oh, about. Gather romance. some extra coins so I can retire early and live in prosperity <laughs> and safety. We do like that. If we got enough, enough connections among the local leaders, I'll use them to become a major player in the Merchants Guild. Oh, that's oh. kind of cool. Yeah, I want to be remembered as the soul who brought peace and order to this realm, a hero. Just want to help people make this future safer for the locals and the newcomers alike. Or I need to find a new life for myself as I have a difficult past and I want it to be forgotten. <sighs> These are all really good. Uh, as a scholar, as a scholar, as a scholar, Anna, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to help the person I care about, or I have a difficult past and I want it to be forgiven. <laughs> and we got to go, you know, we're a bad I, boy scholar. We are, we are a bad boy scholar. I don't want to talk about our past. We did some shady shit and we need to make a new name for ourselves. It makes ourselves. me think that like we did something really, really embarrassing during our school years and we're just trying to move on with like going to a new school. Yeah. We peed our pants yeah. and at, at the whole world knows about it. Yeah. So we have to have a new name. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're like this badass road warden. Yeah. We're like, it wasn't me. I didn't pee my pants. <laughs> don't worry about it. And we don't talk about our past, so everyone thinks that yeah. we actually, like, murdered somebody. But it's not that. It's not that at all. No, it's not that at all. Uh, your half-asleep senses are catching the sounds of the wild forest. Your instincts keep you alert and anxious. Though the peasant, humid... No, pleasant, not peasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, late summer air evens it out slowly. You're thinking of your goal, but you need to gather your strength. Oh, sleep. All mm -hmm. I can do now is rest. Sleeping in a tent. Okay. So that should... Uh, it's nothing special, but it'll protect you from the wind and rain. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All you can do now is rest. Wait. Sleep. Oh, sleep. There you go. Very cool. Excellent. We got through our first day as a road warden, Jazz. We did. This is fun. I really like this. Mm -hmm. I love the old text-based adventures. Like we were saying earlier, uh, Jazz and I have read a lot of Goosebumps books together. Mm -hmm. The Choose Your Own Scare. Um, at our latest beach trip, that was super fun. Yeah. So this really heart heartens back to those days of just sitting around and going on one of those adventures. So it's really fun. I have to say this is like really in depth. Like it is. The sleep, the um, appearance, your hunger. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a lot of like really cool mechanics to it. Mm -hmm. And like mm -hmm. there's also so many like random events because they did say that this game is very roguelike. So there's yeah. going to be a lot of different scenarios or events that happen. Yeah. And you'll never see them all in one run. So that's really cool. So you want to go back and play it over like we chose the scholar, but what if you choose the mage? Like, mm -hmm. your options probably will reflect your class later mm -hmm. on in the story. So you might not, like, probably as a scholar, I bet we'll be able to, like, talk our way out of fights. Whereas a fighter, you might not be able to, and you just fight your way out of yeah. fights, I guess. Or you might, as a scholar, make a very elaborate Rube Goldberg way of fighting. Yes, that's what like, I typically do. You you punch a tree, it shakes, <laughs> and then the string knocks over a, the, the squirrel, and, and then the, the squirrel, squirrel hits like an acorn that rolls down a branch yeah. that un, un like goes into a cup. Okay, that falls over, and the cup falls over into like a bowl of water. The bowl of water makes the acorn grow into a tree, and then which the kills tree. the man. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, that that's that's how it works, right? That's exactly how fights work. It might work. take like 20 years to do <laughs> Listen, <laughs> just you'll die of old age. I also really <laughs> like that it has like a time limit, so mm -hmm. it gives you and if you want the time limit, obviously like there are mm -hmm. different options for difficulty. Yeah. Um so you sort of have like this 
in a pressure which you can sense in the world like obviously there's a lot of lore that we explored and there's a lot of mysterious things mm-hmm. there's a lot of monsters going on it's sort of a bleak world yeah um and that's sort of reflected in that as well mm-hmm. so i'm very i'm very curious to find out more yeah but i mean if you guys want to pick up this game it's a fantastic game there's a link right in the description mm-hmm. it's and out now it's so out you can now. after you're done watching this go to steam press buy download it and let me tell tell us what you chose let me tell you let me tell you <laughs> to tell me what you chose uh, but as big, your road warden. But big thank you to Assemble Studios mm-hmm. for, or Entertainment for hooking us up and uh, sponsoring this video. Mm-hmm. We've had mm-hmm. a blast playing this and we're actually excited to play more of it in the future. Yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, so yeah, definitely hit that link down below. Leave a comment and also let us know if you guys are playing this game, which, which route and which path have you guys chosen. Um, and we'll see you guys mm-hmm. next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.